ABC. Right now on ABC, it's all Celtics, the big three, or as John Barry calls them, PGA. A veteran-loaded team that won the NBA title because its stars sacrificed part of themselves. One person scores one night, and another rebounds, and the other passes, and then they switch roles. In fact, only seven times the last two seasons has any Celtic player led the team in points, rebounds, and assists in the same game. Isn't it interesting that five of those seven, it was Paul Pierce, including their last game? Tom Rinaldi has more on the journey of redemption for a man nicknamed the truth. The full story of a life shows not in a portrait. No more than ink on his arm reveals the whole truth of Paul Pierce's passion and his plight, his gift and his curse. The basketball represents my gift, you know, my talent. And the dagger represents the curse going through it. Never did Pierce's gift shine brighter than last year's NBA Finals. Pierce for three. Bang! Back to Pierce. Another three. Puts it in. Banner number 17, soon to be raised to the Raptors. I'm not taking my uniform off tonight. <laughs> Never did it mean more than opening night this season when he was visibly overcome, receiving the championship trophy. It was just like, thank you, you know, thank you. Uh, I can finally look eye to eye with these legends and, and say that I have a championship too. The depth of Pierce's feeling that night was born of the darkness he'd been through. September 25th, 2000. Pierce and two friends arrived at a Boston nightclub. Minutes later, Pierce was fighting for his life. It just happened so fast, and I, and I looked up, and my, my clothes were ripped. I had blood uh, coming down my face. That's the first thing I remember, blood coming down my face, and I'm like wiping it, and I'm like, I'm seriously hurt. Attacked by a group of men, Pierce was stabbed 11 times, one striking seven inches deep. Covered in blood, his friends rushed him to the hospital. I just was just like, you know, asking them, am I gonna, am I gonna live, am I gonna live? How close did you come to dying? It was a miracle because the deadly strike right here, it pierced my diaphragm, pierced my lung, it just, pinched the two and stopped short in my heart. Remarkably, Pierce left the hospital less than a week later. I can't wait to get back out on the basketball court, join my Celtic teammates, and hopefully a speedy recovery and get out there as soon as possible. His return was celebrated, but only for a time. As the seasons passed and disappointments mounted, Pierce's plight took a new shape, the leader of a lost franchise. And Pierce misses the jam. What a nightmare night for Pierce as the Blues come out again. The turning point for Pierce came when help arrived. With Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen alongside, the trio led the Celtics to their 17th championship. With Pierce, named the Finals MVP. No one has endured what Paul Pierce has. And the fact that he was standing on the stage with all the Boston cheering, uh, I think it was the perfect end. On Paul Pierce's back is another tattoo, one he designed to celebrate his game, but also to hide his wounds. For now, the curse has been conquered. The gift has prevailed. You know, you could celebrate the 27-point lead the Celtics have, but sometimes in life it's better to just celebrate courage. Paul Pierce has it. Second half coming back.